Oh! <laughs> Don't forget the cauliflower. <laughs> Welcome back to Valdor's News from the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern. What a difference a week makes. Oh my God, the temperature in California in the triple digits. What's that doing in the whole growing region, up and down California? Strawberries, only 50% of the crop is going to be able to be harvested. And it's also affecting other row crops like lettuce, romaine, romaine hearts, broccoli, cauliflower, you name it. We're not quite sure what the impact's going to be, but there's definitely going to be some issues. The growers are evaluating the crop and getting back to us, but strawberries for sure are hit. Meanwhile, locally, things are still pretty good. I know we had a ton of rain, but we still have a great deal on green peppers. Eggplant, even though it's a little more pricey, is still abundant. We have lots of other stuff, such as green beans from upstate New York, and we still, of course, are doing the local corn. Fall is coming. I love it. It reminds me of a British summer. What do we have to look forward to? California, new crop apples are coming. Granny Smith, Galar apples, you name it. Also moving up to Washington, so we're looking forward to those, but also looking forward to the local apple crop, starting in the Hudson River Valley with the Macintosh and then we've got the Macoons and the Polar Reds coming closely followed by the Honeycrisp. Great things to look forward to. Now, grapes. California is still strong with the green, the black and the red and also upstate New York. Buzzard Crest Vineyards are going to start with all their grapes so that's a great deal and Red Jacket or Orchard coming through with their Concords in a week or two. As the summer does draw to an end, yellow and green squash out of New Jersey are going to start wrapping up but what's good about it? It's going to be replaced by the winter squash. Got to look forward to that this time of year, coming from Ohio, Michigan, but best of all, when it comes out of New Jersey. Plums, in fact, stone fruit in general, are beginning to wrap up, but plums in particular, they're going to keep going until chili starts, so you're always going to have a stone fruit. And Kingsburg are going to last for at least another month with some late crop varieties of their fabulous pluots. We're not quite sure what's going to happen later on in the week, but Hurricane Irma is definitely going to impact the produce business one way or the other, whether it's asparagus out of Peru by container or snow and snap peas from Guatemala. Container ships are going to get held offshore, product's not going to be able to come in, it's going to load late, there will be some disruption in the supply. Also product by air out of Guatemala, be it French beans or baby squash, definitely going to be affected. And let's not forget Florida, star fruits coming out of there, especially for the Jewish holiday coming up, and passion fruit, looking forward to those, but they could get disrupted depending on where the hurricane hits. Thanks for watching Baldor's News from the Farm. We hope to see you again next week.